it feels really inspiring this morning to do a video and on grievances. Grievances and it's been so much love, just tremendous love as these infinite love as these grievances are are seen through as that's it's self-imposed like that's what I'm seeing it's a it's a self-imposed limitation attempt to limit the recognition of divinity um, here it's not for anyone else because <laughs> it seems like this is something that every being who really wants to know the truth of their identity looks at and yeah just this tremendous love and energy from that and that becomes very inspiring to keep looking at these energies around grievances and I am seeing that that slightest tension is a grievance the slightest tension is a grievance now that's very it's profound actually and to look for these tensions and so um, I've been staying near a community namaste Lake Chapala and going into the community and and I've been on and off around the community for six or eight months or something and had been looking at grievances with and expressing with various like feeling an assignment with various beings in the community and really been very contemplative and then I asked Jesus today, you know, are there any grievances like, because there's been so much love revealed, and I guess this is the time to see them. You know, he, Jesus knows where the bones are buried. I'm looking up there at a, he's, as a, as, at a painting of Jesus on the wall. And our divine nature knows where all this is hidden to really, so there's just some been really deep looking at these energetics these contractions and I started realize there was like Paul and I can still feel some energy around that you know contraction slight contraction seeing like this innocence and at the same time seeing oh there's some kind of discomfort here around this being seemingly and that that how powerful that is for really seeing where love is withheld from myself from the, the self from totality the recognition of that like so it becomes, it's not always comfortable, but it becomes very inspiring for this deep looking when it's seen that it's not personal. These energies are not personal, but they make one, it make you feel like a person. Like that otherness makes the feelings. So there's been just, I've been really looking at these deep desires, the desire for the experience of other the desire for the denials, like show me the denial and really focusing on that. And, you know, so I was, I could hear certain beings I was in assignment with. Yeah, quite a bit's coming up right now, just even talking about this. With Mark, like, and to look deeply in the mind and see there was a, there is a contraction and actually uncovered like hatred, like at one time, it seemed like in another life, in another life, we'd been Roman guards together. That sounds really funny. And hating him, just saying, oh, what is hating and just feeling that energy of hate and see how consciousness plays within itself, within this dreaming to create these characters. That is really deep to see how these characters are desired and a desire way to project that projection through hatred into the world. And how important that mind training is to really notice these contractions and the denials. And again, that was just a really surprise. So for it just feels like that's the assignment to look for every being. It is the assignment. That's the path direct to salvation, even though it can seem really uncomfortable. It's only uncomfortable to a chunk of identity, of untrue identity. False identity is going to be very uncomfortable because it's being undone. 
but I'm seeing the power of really standing into that discomfort and letting the, the spirit um, unwind that and seeing that this love, this vast love, that everything's being used in purpose for the recognition of divine nature. Everything's being used in purpose. I see that. And that's really this miraculous gift that we have with each other is to really support and encourage each other how much I appreciate that now in the coming together. And looking at these grievances together with Jesus and the Holy Spirit, however that, however that is most helpful for whoever the individual, seemingly individual, in form. I can only express the experience here, what's been most helpful. And right now, what's most helpful is this looking at the desire for the grievance, that deep desire for the denial, and looking directly at that. And in that itself, because of the power of light within, this infinite vast love, as Jesus said, look at it with me, which is looking at, at it with the eyes of love. Yeah, none of these grievances can stand in that light of divinity. So it is turning the desire for the grievance to the desire to recognize deny, divine nature. And that's the release of that tension, that deeply held tension. I've talked about this before. In bioenergetics, they call it armoring. Well, it reflects out almost like armoring in the body, this tenseness. It's like bodies hardly breathe <laughs> that are wound into the idea of a personal identity because there's such a contraction. It's almost like the, the, a reflection of the attack shows up in the body in the expression of the body. So as the grievances are dropped, the, that this deep tension, this deep, that, that's this reactive conditioning, which is that deep tension, shows up as deep tension in the body, it's reactive. It just melts away. And there's just a deepening relaxation in, in being and into true nature as true nature really because true nature is always here and there's just an idea that gets reflected out and the, the word hologram comes up. I'm watching this program. The Holographic Universe, you can find it on YouTube. It's it's really has a beautiful, um, talks a lot about quantum mechanics and the projection. What comes to mind when I watch those things that's really beautiful because they talk about the one observing the observer, how the observer itself changes what's actually happening. What's really valuable on the spiritual journey is seeing who the one is that is actually observing the observer. You know, what is the observer really? Because a lot of there's a lot of talk about this infinite field that it's arising out of the infinite field and it's not measuring, measurable. So even science that loves to measure things cannot measure what they describe as the infinite field, this infinite emptiness. And that is the, that is the power of the spiritual search, is to find out. Oh, that was a little cliffhanger. The spiritual search is to find out what that infinite field is and ultimately discover that the infinite field is identity, is true identity. And even when that's discovered, then to look deeply at the contractions, because every contraction is a denial of that infinite field. <laughs> 
is an attempt to not deny, and consciousness is a subconscious desire to deny that infinite, the infinite reality. So it becomes very inspiring to look at those grievances, the grievances against true identity, against the infinite field, and the denials creating the holographic universe. <laughs> The holograph. And that's why all the gratitude comes in. You see that with a brother or because the brother will bring the direct that's the experience here, that direct experience in the train mind. The train mind will start to look for the tensions which is a grievance, and start to notice the otherness and look really deeply at that part of the illusion and seize the power of that to peace of mind. Those are the clues. Those are all the clues in consciousness of a denial and consciousness of divinity.